Okay, now you both know the rules. Anything goes, but this is not a fight to the death. If Ray wins, I give up the boot. If Kroll wins... What do you mean, if Kroll wins? Could you be any less supportive? Probably. If Kroll wins, Ray lives with humiliation. Don't worry, Ray, it's not that humiliating to be beaten to a pile of goo by an armored, muscular, unstoppable-looking guy like Kroll. Thanks for the reassurance. Let the fight begin. Hey, Kroll, there's... There's a naked chick behind you. Where? Out. Okay, time out. What do you mean, time out? You hit me in the face with a sword. Is that not allowed? On the contrary, that's a completely legitimate maneuver. I just... I think there's something in my eye. Hang on a second. Kroll. It really hurts, okay? What do you want me to do? You probably should have worn a helmet. Well, it's a little late for that now, isn't it? Kroll, you will forfeit the fight if you don't strike back. It's a little difficult to strike back when I can't even see anything. Have you ever been hit in the face with a sword? No. No? No. Then what would you know? I'd hate to say it, but it looks like Ray is the winner. No f***ing way. I think I'm stuck in the crack of the Twilight Zone's ass here. Here is the right boot, as promised. Where's Kroll? In the infirmary. Is he going to be okay? Don't worry, this happens all the time. I have ordered some helmets, though. Okay, but what about a lead on the rest of the armor? Of course. Talk to Lord Dippity Dubnar. He can help you. Uh, about that. How should I prove to him that I killed you? That won't be necessary. He orders a hit on me now and then. It's an inside joke. Lord Dubnar and I go way back. Way back, right? Now, what is that supposed to mean? I've known Dubnar for quite a long time. Is that so? How long have you known him? Well, I suppose... Please give your answer in centuries rounded down! Oh. Zero centuries? I first met him about ten years ago. Uh-huh. I've known Dubnar for a few hundred years, so you can keep that we go way back crap to yourself. Your way back means I met him five minutes ago to me. I see. In any case, you will understand. Now, off you go. Welcome back. I trust that Rose Beef is still alive. Yeah, he said you'd understand. But now we have a favor to ask of you. What do you want? Gold? Girls? A makeover? No, nothing like that. We're looking for the rest of my dad's assassin's armor. You're killing me, Ray! Yes, I know the armor you mean. Don't ask me how I know. That armor has been all over the place. Luckily, the rest of it is in one location. That's a relief. Where is it now? The last person to have it was killed. The armor was buried with him. Here's the location of the tomb. I guess we'll have to go check it out. Man, I haven't been to a good tomb in f***ing forever. Oh, and are we square now, Dubnar? Yes, but you know I still have a weak spot for... Scamp Casserole. Fine, we're gone, you fat piece of shit. What was that? I said... He said he likes your nipple ring. I mean, the ring on your scaly demon breast. I mean, your manly mammary piercing. Oh yeah, nice save, Ray. That's much better. No, it's okay. Sometimes I get self-conscious about it. I appreciate your honesty. You're welcome. Come on, little Ray. We need to get going. There's that Twilight Zone feeling again.